guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episode 18 of Fake Grand Order Babylonia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I kind of hope nobody dies today, like, important, I'm just saying. I don't need any more people dying today, but I, it's coming. It is just going to be so bad, and I'm not ready for it, and I'm scared, and it's just like, you know, we're looking at this group of characters, and you're just looking at everybody like, are you going to survive? Are you going to survive? Are you going to survive? Or are you going to die? Like, mm. who is living? Who is going to die? We only got, like, what? Six episodes left? Yeah. Yeah, people can die in six episodes. I mean, mm. and I care about everybody in this. Like, oh, uh, I don't know. I, I just, I still, <laughs> my child. I miss Merlin. I, I really wish there was a way that we could get out of that, but no, there isn't. <laughs> Which sucks. But, I mean, if Merlin and Anna were here, I think it would be, it would still be hard, but maybe a little bit easier to be able to, like, defeat her, this big, giant CGI woman, because they're not here. And my best girl is dead slash evil now. Crazy. What the heck do you do? I'm scared. <sighs> Half of our group is gone. That's the thing. That is so bright. I mean, sun. Yeah. I mean, even if, even though it is the last night, who? How could you sleep? I, mm, I can do it. I'd be scared to fall asleep.
Well, I mean, it's everybody has different ways of coping. Came here for closure. I guess.
you're right about that. You might even die. I don't want that. Mm -mm. Please let these people survive, I swear to God. Mm -hmm. I just still have a bad feeling about this because I don't know what's going to happen and I want to know. Oh my god. I just want y'all to hurry up and kill my best girl so she don't suffer anymore. I mean, please. She suffered way too much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we needed. Thank you. <laughs>
Shit, Loka. Oh my. weren't there. But something about this is feel too easy though. Cause she got a backup plan. I mean, come on now. I mean, I thought we already knew that, but, um, okay. Get back to square one. What are we gonna do? Um, that's not going to kill her, though.
how, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't. Just do it. Wow. Your Yuki is showing and I don't like it. Are you fucking no, no, you have got to be kidding me. This fucking bitch. I thought we saw the last of her episodes ago. I didn't expect her to come back. I mean, the crap that Anna did several episodes ago. I'm thinking, okay, she's not coming back. She gone. <laughs> oh, now Locust. Bruh. Like, no, I didn't want Loka to die in this episode. I, like, if Loka, I, I, I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't have had Loka die in this episode. I was like, okay, let her live until maybe 20, but like her sacrifice, every sacrifice that has been happening ever since maybe about what episode 10, 11, 12 has all been necessary. Even with what's his face finally coming back and admitting, like, yes, he wasn't there during, you know, when Gorgonon came the first time. And he ran away, and then he was a coward and stuff like that. But he came back to just turn that circle around and be a better person, even though when his it was his last like few moments of his life before he died and such. But why is she back? <laughs> like out of all the people, why is she back? I mean, God, like every single time when you think you defeated this woman, she'd be like, "Hey, like she come back like it's nothing." You'd be over here like. You be used too much. Like, oh my god. Go sit down. Like, no. I'm scared. Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? <sighs> I'm glad that my, my best girl is now dead. Because she can now finally rest. Because. Oh god. Just seeing her, like, last week. Going on into this week. And her finally having her demise. And finally be able to, like move on and officially die like ugh. closure I needed that because Jesus Christ I mean I know she was supposed to be bad for a couple episodes but I was like you need to go like please oh my God. Just, I'm scared to like even know what possibly could happen next and the fact is like Fujimaya is now coughing and I feel like the closer we get to the end of this series the only one out of the two that's going to survive potentially is mesh and he's gonna die i don't really i mean this is the they're, we're they're both the characters of the show they're the pov that we've been following for for such a long time ever since i watched like the ovas but not the the one with mesh and romani but really just her and him and learning about their relationship and just knowing that it's all leading up to like possibly a point where one of them or maybe even both of them. And I don't think they're going to kill both of them. I could see them possibly maybe for a second or a couple of minutes just killing Fujimoto. But then somewhat bringing him back to life. Not like I'm a, almost like Harry Potter in a way, but not really. They could literally do anything with him. But I think it's going to be necessary just to kill him off. So that um, maybe Nash could do something. I'm not 100% sure. We're in the final six, five episodes left before we're done with this show. And, I mean, 
I, I really don't know. I, I was very surprised today, especially with the fact that all the characters not had to bring her fucking bitch ass back because it's just like I said, every time when I think we're done with her, it's just there's some way for her to come back. I was thinking that Tia was the final form, the final person final freaking boss that we were gonna go against but no you brought her back i mean this is how okay this is the only thing i can compare her to is if any of you <laughs> and this is gonna be a really weird comparison but it's gonna be funny for me when like most of us kingdom hearts fans have played the series ever since and then when we all played 0.2 birthright super fashion period uh, a fragmentary passage and we're seeing the heartless swarm and we're playing as aqua and we had to go against that thing three freaking times in 2.8 a final a final chapter prologue and then kingdom hearts 3 comes and we're playing as sora and the freaking heartless swarm comes again and all these newbies are like oh my god this boss is so freaking cool and i'm over here like oh my god this boss is so freaking cute why is this boss, why are we going against this boss fight again that's how i feel about her god she's come every single freaking time and it's like oh my god like for like looking at tia and you're thinking and assuming like yes this girl's gonna be this final boss and no her has come out of nowhere and i'm just over here like really again we have to go against this character again out of all the freaking people from this series from episode one to now again like even though I barely play FGO on my phone, like, still, if I had to play this part and to know that I had to go against her again, I, woo. Mm-mm, like, nah. <laughs> but, I'm still sad. Loka will be missed, like, deadass, because Loka was literally the best thing about the group. I mean, she was... <laughs> <laughs> she was the funny one. I mean, Ishtar is funny too, but Loka was just freaking hilarious, and you had to love her. She was such an interesting character, and she will be missed no matter what. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Utrecht's episode 18 of Fake Grand Order of Babylon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys, especially all next Saturday for episode 19. Bye, guys.